So hello and welcome back to the computer lab. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert from an AAC audio file format to an MP3 audio file format uh, on your Apple Mac computer. And to do that, I'm going to use the music app that is built in to your Apple Mac. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the music app. Mine is on my taskbar along the bottom here on my dock. Uh, you might have to launch yours from your applications. So just before we convert the file, you just need to understand on how Apple uh, converts these songs. So in its um, sort of default status, uh, if I'm in the songs tab here and go up to music and then preferences, you've got general playback files and advanced. We need the files tab and then we click on import settings and you're on the default settings it is set on AAC encoder. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it on that for one second because I just wanted to show you how that works. So if I go and pick one of these songs up at the top up here and then go up to file with this song highlighted and then go to convert, I've got this option to create an AAC version. So what it's going to do is convert this song here to an AAC version if I clicked on the button here. We don't want that, we want an MP3 version. So if you look at this menu here, there's no option for an MP3. So now if we go back up to music, and this is where we need to change so we can convert to MP3, we need to click on preferences, click on import settings, making sure that we're on files at the top up here, click on import settings, and then we're gonna pick in the list MP3 encoder. Now the setting underneath is your quality. You can have, a, have this set on whatever you want. I always have mine set on higher quality. Click on OK and then OK again. So now what happens if we've got the same song selected and we go to File and then go down to Convert, we've now got this option to create an MP3 version, which is what we want to do. Now that's all very good, but what it does, it drops this uh, first into your songs list or into your library as it would be. So what I'm going to do is convert two songs in as if the um, these songs aren't already there. I'm going to drag two that I have already ready to go. So I'm just going to push this to one side and just show you how that works. My final window, I've got two songs or two M4A audio files ready to go to be converted to MP3. Now I can go up to my music folder up here and I can import these directly in using my menu here. I like to drag into my music folder. So I'm going to select the two files, making sure that I'm on my songs list here. You can do it in albums as well, but I like to do it in the songs. Grab the two files or the album or whatever it is you want to drag in. I'm going to make sure they're selected. And I'm going to just going to left click on my mouse and drag it into my music folder. So I'm going to left click and then drag and then let go. What that does, it uh, once you can sort of red bounding box go around it, it will then import these two songs or how, however many songs you've selected into your uh, music app. So let me minimize this now and then let's get this back across. So you notice it's not put them alphabetical straight away. It doesn't put it, you'd expect it to appear in this title because I'm sorted on alphabetically on the title. What I again would like to do if I'm dragging it in is to have the date added column down this side here. So to do that, I can push control and then left click and then I get this contextual menu. Or if I've got right click enabled, I can right click on the mouse and then go down and I want to show date added. So I'm gonna click date added. And then if I click on this top column, it will then sort the files in the date added order. So I'm gonna click date added. It will then put the most recent files that I've added right to the top. And the two files, if you remember rightly, was this audio file one and two, audio file one and two, which is here. Now, these are now in my music library. Again, understanding what's going on here, if I right click and get info, even though we have told Apple Music that we want to import as an MP3, it's brought them in as an AAC audio file because Apple does not want you to bring these in as MP3 uh, just because it is Apple. So we've got these two AAC files that we need to convert. So we need to select them both together, or if it's a whole album, select the whole album, then go up to file, then to convert and then create an MP3 version. So I'm gonna click on create MP3 version by left clicking. And what it does straight away is create these two MP3 versions of the file. So, and can differentiate between the two by if I right click on here and get info, it will tell me that this is an MP3 or an MPEG audio file. If I want to see where they are on the computer so I can drag them maybe across onto a USB stick that I want to use to play some of my music, I can right click and then it's showing Finder, and that will direct me straight to the two 
mp3 files that are now dragged in to this folder here and from here obviously I can copy these uh, and then drag them across to you know a USB stick or something like that bearing in mind before you do that it's always handy just to tidy up your music library because now I've got four um, or double of the same songs here so I'd want to get rid of my AAC versions for example so I want to check that this is the AAC version I could just go into the get info and check which file this is you see this is AAC audio so I would just delete these two out of my library by selecting both of them right clicking and then delete from library it'll say you sure you want to delete the songs yes delete and then that leaves the two mp3 files that I can then use uh, on whatever device I want to do and that is it that is the simple way on how to convert from an AAC audio file to mp3 uh, using your free programs that are built into your Mac I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do hit the like button please do subscribe to my channel please do hit me with any comments below they are always appreciated and thanks again for watching the computer lab on YouTube